there's going to be children who aren't going to be safe because they're going to be left at home because the parents have to. Some Pike Township parents are scrambling to make plans for their kids ahead of a second virtual e-learning day. The district was forced to cancel in-person learning today and tomorrow after a bus driver walkout. Good evening, everyone. I'm Phil Sanchez. And I'm Alexis Rogers. News aide Demi Johnson is here with us now. And Demi, many parents feel like they've been kind of put in a bind here. Yeah, that's because canceling in-person learning also means there's no before or after school care, which many parents say they rely on. Our I-team spoke with bus drivers who chose to remain anonymous earlier today. They said the strike has actually been going on since Thursday when nearly 22 drivers called out. Parents I talked to are worried this isn't going to end anytime soon. All signs point to a strike. From the things that I'm hearing, it's going to be a much longer situation. That's what Pike Township parent Latasia Gomez was told, and it's what bus drivers told our I-team. But the district is denying the claim, saying that information has not been shared with us. To the best of our knowledge, the issues we're experiencing are related to planned medical leave, illness-related absences, and the universal bus driver shortage. Those drivers tell News 8 they're overworked and underpaid. Parent Jennifer Rubenstein says she hopes that that can be fixed, but in the meantime, she says kids need to be in the classroom. If they really are only making four to seven hundred dollars every other week. I think that that's that's ridiculous. We need to pay them more. But where we go from here, I think that you have to open the schools back up. Gomez agrees and feels for parents who have no backup plan. She's thankful her son is old enough to stay home alone, but she's still concerned about the quality of education he receives when he's not in the classroom. I came downstairs and I was like, hey, so how, what period are you in? And he's like, click, 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 click. Um, yeah, I'm in third period. So um, supervision is a concern of mine. Um, how long are you actually on the class are you just logging in are you completing the work she's hoping families will find ways to pull together if the district continues with virtual learning but she says that could be difficult and that's kind of um not highly likely because we didn't get to have the um, back to school night and get to meet one another like you typically would so that's going to be another challenge and gomez says communication with the district also has to be better i wish they would be more forthcoming and say until further notice, we will be diverted from in-class instruction instead of saying, oh, today and tomorrow. So far, we've not heard anything else from the drivers or the district about what parents should expect for the rest of the week. In studio, Demi Johnson, Wish TV, wishtv.com, and follow us on Facebook. Demi